The President Donald Trump had to do prison time in the Department of Corrections, what will be his first meal. And that's where I come in at. So we're going to do a breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu for the President Donald Trump. You're going to want to hang around to see this. We love you, Chef. Let's get started. President Donald Trump is not big on breakfast, but we're going to start off with an everything bagel. Give him two hard boiled eggs, give him brown and serve turkey sausage. This will be the breakfast for the President Donald Trump. Okay, people, with a pot of hot boiling water, we're going to go in with about a teaspoon of sea salt. It'd be easy if you drop them in with a spoon just to make sure you don't get it. Nobody wants to get it. And while we have those two eggs boiling, we are going to toast our everything bagel. Okay, on the hot skillet, you want to add a little oil. And we're going with the turkey, the sausage. You know, everybody eats healthy. Even the president eats healthy. Okay? All right, toast should be about ready. Wonderful. Perfect. Everything bagel. Okay, so this is what President Donald Trump's first meal in the Department of Correction should look like. Everything bagel with butter. Two hard-boiled eggs. Pepper. Salt. Four link sausage. Milk. Orange juice. Banana. And an apple. to do PB and J with President Trump, but we're just not going to do your average PB and J people. We're going to do the ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So we're going to start off with Jif peanut butter, okay? Grape jelly. Nature's own honey wheat bread. I'll cut some slices of banana for this particular sandwich. And we're going to add a slice of sharp cheddar cheese. After all, people, this is the President of the United States. Okay, so this is the ultimate PB&J with banana as well as a slice of cheddar cheese. You're going to start off with the peanut butter, people. Make sure it's nice and creamy. Whatever brand you decide. But you know, in prison, you don't really have an option. Just put a nice evenly amount of PB&J. Jelly, nice generous amount of jelly. You also want to spread that evenly. Next is your banana. No, 
there's many ways you can um do your banana. I like to cut the ends off first. And just slice. A couple slices off. You always add it to the peanut butter, not to the jelly. All right, you add your slice of cheddar. Put it together. On a hot skillet. You want to add about a tablespoon of butter. Before you add your PB&J. Probably about two minutes on each side. No more than that. Look how nice and brown that is. Okay, so this is the DOC Royal Lunch <laughs> for President Donald Trump. Alright, we have an ultimate PB and J. We have a bag of Lay's potato chips. Milk, of course. juice of course and chocolate pudding I know you're dying to see what this looks like on the inside you see that that's the ultimate PB&J look at that cheese okay and last but not least we have dinner, or some people call it supper. So we're going with lasagna, Stover's Meat Lovers lasagna, garlic bread sticks, and we're gonna have a side salad. Okay, President Trump, microwave is in use, just in case you didn't know. We're going to make sure you have a nice, nutritious meal. You just take that off halfway. You don't want to take it off all the way. And we're going to put it in for about three minutes. We have two pieces of garlic bread going in the toaster oven. Okay, so here we go. We have lasagna. Nice and hot. Straight out of the microwave. Two garlic bread sticks. Milk. Orange juice. Sliced or diced. Pears. And there you have it. Almost forgot his side cell. You know, you always have snacks on the canteen. So later on that evening, if you get a little hungry, you can always get him a couple noodles and a bag of chips. Okay, so I know you saw the thumbnail. It says, from president to prison. I don't know this to be true, people. But I know someone that knows someone that knows someone that bumped into President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris on a campaign trail. And they, you know, they didn't disclose any information, people, so I'm not going to put it out there. But by chance, if the man go to prison, if they put him in prison, what would be his first meal?